welcome in. It is day 193, and you're speaking to the Meeples Champion. And today we're going to be going over a much smaller game than usual. This game is a newer game that I just got in recently. It was, it was right around the holidays that I found it and was interested. The game is called Crossfire. This is an extremely fast game. It's like three minutes to play around. Really? You should be putting together like an expectation of multiple rounds and first person to get X amount of rounds wins should be the setup. It doesn't really say that in the playbook. I'm sure that there's options for variable rules, but this is just a quick three minute, hey, let's see who wins game. The concept is you have a bunch of rolls. It's five to 10 player. So you pass these around based on the number of plays you have, the rolls that should be included. You pass these around, everybody gets one, they look at it. They then pass their rolls to their left. Now they look at the new one. So you have a little bit of info about what the player after you it has, what the player before you had. Then starting at the dealer, you're going to take the cards to your left and your right from the people next to you, shuffle them, redeal out to each other. Then the third player is going to do it again. So in a five player, it'll be the first and the fourth. But then when you're playing a seven player, it'll be the first, the fourth, and the seventh. And if you're playing a ten player, it'll be the first, the fourth, the seventh, and tenth. So you do this, and now you have a couple minutes to discuss. You know, try to discuss what you what you have, what you think's going on. You basically are trying to figure out what the roles around the table are. You're trying to figure out who you believe, who you don't believe. And people who are hearing what you others are saying might know, like, oh, they're definitely lying. Why are they lying? So you're trying to get this information. And then when the three minutes are up, everybody lifts a finger and points at who they want to point at that they're shooting. You're trying to kill off the VIP. It's blue team versus red team. So if you succeed at killing them off, then the, the blue team wins. And if you don't, the red team wins. However, there's only certain people that actually have guns. So you'll all point at the people that you want to point at You'll keep your fingers out. Then they'll say, if you don't have a gun, put your finger down. Then you reveal your cards. The people who have been shot, you'll then reveal who they are. And if any of them are the VIP, it decides the winning team. It's very simple. It's not a major game. This is just a fun little, almost a party game in a way. It's, it's just meant for a fun night. I don't think of this as a real game night game. But why don't we jump in our seven categories and see if this in lands for us. When it comes to the art, the box is kind of what drew me to it. It was a nice little simple tinier game box. I enjoyed that. You know, I don't have many like shooting style games and the cards really back that up. So it's a thumbs up. When it comes to those components, all you have are the cards and your timer for the three minutes. That's it. So they're really good. Thumbs up. When it comes to the price, so I got this on sale, but I bought this online for seven bucks. It's normally about 14. It's really not much money. Now I don't, I can't speak that this is gonna be available in every game store. I've never seen this in a store before. I'd only just grabbed my attention on Amazon, but it's on Amazon and it definitely wasn't sold out on Amazon. So it's out there and it's cheap. Thumbs up. When it comes to the difficulty, it's not difficult. But this is where it actually takes a hit, because I think for beginners, it's going to be great. But I think for kids, it might get a little confusing trying to keep track of the rolls. You know, this is a lot of movement of cards. So I think that age, they can do it, but it might not be something that they're huge into. But I do think kids at 10 and, and older are a bit into these like guessing games. It just may not feel as much of a game to the adults playing with those kids. And when it comes to the experience and the expert players, I don't feel this is a game they're going to jump at very often because they don't want to play a quick game like this. They're looking for a game with more substance. So for me, thumbs down. When it comes to that replayability, it is literally a three-minute game. It is made for let's play a lot. Let's keep going. I think that the replayability is built on nights with your family, nights that you're doing a party night and you have a few people at the party that want to do a quick game and you're like, hey, we're not playing for an hour. We're not playing for 30 minutes. We can play a three minute game. If you don't like it, we don't play again. If you do, we can interchange. You know, it's five to 10. If you have a 15 person party, you can easily be like, let's do a group of five. And like, you know, you, you two don't want to play again. These two move in and you can just go through the party like that. It's replayability is there. Thumbs up.
when you're talking about the keys to victory, the only true keys to victory, in my opinion, are that you have track of who had what cards. It's really just a deduction game. All right, I know I saw this, then I moved it, now I have this, then we shuffled, and now I've seen these. So based on which position you're in and, and who grabs cards and shuffles, it gives you little bits of information. But personally, in my opinion, I don't think there's enough there to really have a lot of keys to victory. It's a fun little party game, but it's not a complete game. So it's got to be a thumbs down. Unique. Is the game unique? The game's fun. But to me, it feels like the first step on your way to making the resistance. It feels like the first step on somebody who thought of the game Mafia or Werewolf. It's cool, it's fun, but it's very, very quick. And it's very simple. So for me, it's not unique. It's got to be a thumbs down. Overall, even though it's an amazingly good price, especially at that 50% off, I don't feel this is a game you must own. I think this is a game that you could try to play. If somebody has it, enjoy it. And maybe it's one you'd like to pick up. And definitely, if you enjoy it, just buy it. Because it's not so expensive that you have to worry. It doesn't take up a lot of space. So it's not going to be taking up a huge portion of your, of your shelving unit. It's not going to be taking up a bunch of your money. But I think play it first. Because this may just be a game that for 9 out of 10 of my viewers, they're going to go, that's too simple. I don't want to play that. I'm looking for a game a little bit higher up for my family or my non-normal gaming friends. That's just my opinion. Maybe you love these, you know, shoot style, quick paced, fast moving games. And if you do, that's awesome. Enjoy them. Well, it has been day 193. And we've been speaking about the game Crossfire. And you've been speaking to the Meeples Champion. Like, share, subscribe, and check down below in the description where I'll be adding in an Amazon link in case you want to get this game for your collection. Until next time, I'll talk to you tomorrow.